through perseverance. Many people win success out of what seemed destined to be certain failure. Benjamin Disraeli. My friends, just stay with it. You can do this. And again, this is the crappy time of year for trading. Sell in May and go away, live to trade another day isn't a saying that just came up in the market. It has been around for years. Summertime trading zone is the hardest, so stick with it. We will get to the fall winter trading zone. There's some traders <clears throat> that just leave the market in the summertime. Now, during COVID, we saw crazy market activity in the summer. In fact, that first summer of COVID was a fantastic summer for the market. So again, I'm, and what I mean is not necessarily going up or going down, but consistent movement. That is what we get in the fall winter trading zone, much more consistent than the summertime. But let's jump into these charts and see where things are. We see stocks and bonds up for the day, Gold down some, not quite getting through that 200 EMA and Bitcoin up a little bit, but we'll talk about all those. Let's jump first into the S&P 500 up 0.88% for the day. Again, knocking on that door again, we can see where the market moved down, popped up, took us out of that trade, and then slid down a little and then going back up and stopping about the same point. So we'll keep an eye on this and see if things are going to get ready to roll over again hard. Might give us an opportunity to jump back into a practice trade. Do not forget, on both the S&P and the NASDAQ 100, the two-day and the weekly are still negative. Now, not reaching a lower low than it did last week, but again, red down candles and red STC, which is most important. On this half-day chart, it is moving up. Let's see what kind of breakthroughs we get on Thursday or if everything starts to collapse again. And we can jump into a practice trade going down. We're in the right spot here. We're above that middle band. And again, we see things roll over hard. What are we looking for? Well, we are looking for, again, we would prefer an initiation early on when the rollover first occurs. That is what we like best is to see these rollovers occur and what happens. Well, we love it when we see something like we saw back on the 21st of April. What happened then? We saw that the STC went red when the candle went red. We had a nice solid red down candle, no wick on top, wick on the bottom, and just plummeted down, helped us capture a 3.24% down gain. And again, what would that be on something like SH, which is the inverse, single inverse for the S&P 500, that Sierra Hotel SH. Uh, that is a potential inverse fund, just a single short or a put. And again, those of you who have taken our training, if you are a Patreon member, you get the three-part series. One of the first things, the first thing you get is that three-part series, Options Made Simple, the Charting Wealth Way. We encourage you, if you're interested in learning about options, learn with us. That is one of the benefits of any of the three levels of Patreon support. Now, let's talk about where we are at this point again, trying to move up. We are still seeing lots of downward pressure from that two-day and the weekly being down. So what do we expect? Well, we are below the 200 EMA, right? The only kind of moves we're going to jump into are down moves until and unless we penetrate that 200 EMA. Now, what do I have to tell you different about the Qs? Not a whole lot, except we did pull our trade today. This would be the final. Uh, plenty of us pulled out when things first popped up. Then things rolled back over, but didn't go very far. And then we went from red to green on the STC, which is your final warning. Pull this thing. Take what profit you have, half a percent or so, and don't hang in. Because why? Well, the STC is telling us things are going in the wrong direction. And where are we? Of course, we're waiting for down moves, but we are going to stand by. So if things do kick back over again and head down, that's all well and good. We're not going to take that chance that they're going to keep spiking up when it goes to green on the STC. 
I'm out of there. Now, I would love to see it tick up some, get above the, uh, the intermediate band here, and then roll back over. But that may or may not happen. It could go down tomorrow. And we'll just be waiting for a trade that sets up correctly. Remember, if the charts aren't working for you, you don't work the charts. Now, that is where we are. And again, just like the S&P 500, NASDAQ 100 is still negative on the two-day and the weekly. Let's move on to bonds. What do we see going on there? Well, you can see where bonds are topping out at about the same place here for a day and a half or so. And again, it's green on the STC. But of course, if we tighten this up a little bit, got to tighten it up a fair bit, you can see that we're still well below the 200 EMA. Where are we on the two-day? Well, the two-day actually crossed over going up, and we've had uh, four days, and you had a spinning top there. So of, of up movement, which is nice. The weekly do have a green candle. It's still negative, of course. So right now we are just negative 10. What are we waiting for? Well, we'll let things sort of work their way out. But again, if they rotate over going down, we'll be looking to short bonds. We had that 5.42% attempt, uh, we ended up with 2.56 when things rotated back over on us. We got a green spinning top there and pulled that. That's all right. I'll take what I can get. 2.56 is not as good as 4.52, but it's a whole lot better than nothing. Now, what are we waiting for here? We're waiting to see again if we're going to have things roll over from green to red and start heading down on bonds. May or may not happen. If it does, what would we be looking at? Well, something like TBF, Tango, Bravo, Foxtrot. What is that? That's the pro shares short. Uh, in other words, when the uh, TLT is going down, just like with the SPY, the inverse was SH, this inverse is TBF. It's run by ProShares. It's a single short, something for you to practice trade. You can see with bonds going up, it's going down, but when bonds go down, it goes up. Just a little something to add a little bit of sophistication to what you're doing Give it a shot. That's where we are on bonds. That's what we're looking for. And we'll see if we can have a bit of a repeat of that short that we took previously. Maybe we do. Maybe we don't. The charts will lead us. Apply that thinking to all the stocks and ETFs that you follow. Let's move on to gold. Our only downer for the day, down 0.60%. And look what happened. We were approaching, approaching the 200 EMA with that up move and then just headed down for the day. Where are we on the two-day? The two-day, again, is still negative, but four days of up movement in gold, quite nice. And what do we see on the weekly? Again, not reaching that lower, that low of last week, and we do see things, again, with a green spinning top, indecision tending up. But again, STC, STC is still heading down on both the weekly and the two-day, so we have a negative 14 on our success multiplier formula, which means what? If these down moves continue and we get a crossover going down, that give us an opportunity to short gold. Now, I wish I had a good inverse fund for you. DGZ is one, but again, I can't find a good gold inverse that doesn't have a big spread between the bid and ask, which, of course, if I'm going to get into down moves in gold, it would have to be a practice put. And again, if you've taken that training uh, or you have your own training that you understand how to buy and sell options, you can sure practice trade those. But that's where we are on gold. Lastly, Let's go to Bitcoin. Where are we on Bitcoin? Well, here's what's interesting. Bitcoin is just sliding along still. It was up a little bit, 0.84%, but nothing's really happening in Bitcoin. It's just sort of hanging out, and we can see its moves just getting flatter and flatter and flatter. What typically happens? Well, at some point it breaks out either up or down. If we look at where things are on the two-day Still down, but you can again see where it's just sliding along there too. And on the weekly, you can see where we're in week three 
of sort of flattening right there. What is Bitcoin doing? Is it digesting these down moves and then after it does so, plummets more or is it going to spike up? We don't know. We just know there's a lot of downward pressure on the weekly and on the two-day and we shall wait and see which way this breaks out. That is where we are, my friends, as we end the day on Wednesday, go into Thursday. Don't hesitate to reach out to us. We love hearing from you. CW at chartingwealth.com. If you're interested in Patreon membership and all the great things that brings, check out the Patreon page. God bless, my friends. All the best from the whole team at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.